My name is Imelda Poole and I'm a Loretto sister, IBVM. I'm English, as you can tell from my accent, but I'm actually working on mission in Albania. And my work setting is a foundation working against human trafficking, both in Albania and across Europe. Well, it's really very uh, deeply needed reasons uh, that led me to follow this kind of call, if you like, to come here. I was really, after 13 years working against human trafficking, I was feeling very um, blocked in a way and heavy in myself, spiritually, and a friend in Rome actually said, had I heard of Woodbrook, had I heard of this course, which I, I had never heard of, and they said it was uh, like soul of leadership, I was in leadership and I needed to have my soul freed. So I thought this sounds good just for me. So I just jumped in at the deep end and applied. I'd never been to Woodbrook before. I feel very different, actually. The course has been um, a tremendous experience for me. Um, I feel very grateful for the opportunities of not just the exercises, the group itself that I've been involved with over the two years has been a remarkable group of friendship and of honesty and truth. The leaders of the course have been very generous with their materials, with their patience with us as we struggled sometimes with finding our way through some of the challenges. Um, I think also personally I, have, I feel free. I feel it has changed me uh, remarkably. It has changed me to the degree that I've let go of uh, my ways of leading, which were pretty well from the back. But I think I've moved into the whole experience of, of self-managing teams, and that in, in effect changes me. What I um, found particularly helpful were, were the books that we were given, three each in between program. Uh, physical presence program which was twice a year. The books uh, were not the, the essence of the program itself but they gave you an opportunity to go deep into the thinking of what was going on when we were physically present for the week's training. So the one couldn't have reacted the same without the other and vice versa for me. Mm -hmm. And I think also, if I might say, that the tools given for discernment, such as a clearance committees and um, immunity to change exercise and, and others that we did throughout this programme, have impacted me for decision making in a big way. And I feel a lot more confident in, in my intuitive thinking. Oh, I've just fallen in love with Woodbrook. <laughs> I didn't uh, know it before. I know I will come back. I will come back just to be still, to be able to savour this beautiful place. Truly, I, I really feel at home here. I love the grounds. I love the presence of the people around the place. They're always so quietly welcoming and free. They free you up to be and to do as you will, as you like. I think the food is great, by the way, if anybody wants to hear this. <laughs> the service is wonderful. And I love the ambience of the sitting areas, um, the, the lounges, if you like, and the nooks for hiding. I think all of this comes together to make it a very perfect place for a retreat. Mm. I think the world is in a whirly gig of change. I mean, beyond its own capacity. Uh, they talk about paradigm shifts taking 200 years to actually happen if you go between the agrarian industrial revolution and yet today we know we're in a paradigm shift five times multiplied together and uh, this the technological revolution the political upheavals the war the mobility the massive massive mobility which is greater than even the second world war time that we are now uh, having to confront this within each one of us, personally, with information overload, with decision-making in the midst of chaos. So, 
for the world, this course, anybody doing this course, can kind of make sense of how they're operating within this fast change and you're able to step back and go deep into what it matters to you in the midst of this chaos and to make the choices to go forward step by step. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think that um, anybody that is in any kind of um, challenging leadership role which is confronting them, if you like, to make multiple decisions it gives them a tool for letting go of that sense of um, responsibility. And I think this course teaches people to let go of being on their own and to be aware that they're, it's only together that any success comes and it's only together that good decision making takes place and it's only together that good action results in good practice. Mm. But I knew I couldn't afford the cost for coming here on this course with the amount put on the advert. So I in fact applied to our foundation that's across Europe because we do fund for capacity building and for coping with stress for our members who are in such challenging and draining work. So for the first time in 10 years I decided to, as leader, to be a leader in begging for money. And so I did, and I got the funding, 2000, and the rest my congregation has paid for. Mm -hmm. We need support financially for this course, and you can hear from all of us that it's, it's changing the environments and the people that they come into contact with, those that come on this course. So imagine that knock-off trickle effect if the course were open to many more people. Mm. Well, I would encourage anybody that's feeling that real need to stop, think and be open to change to apply for this course and to make a profound difference when they go back from it to wherever they are. To fund funding bodies, I, I would just say you will not be wasting your money. So please give as much as you're able. Mm. Thank you.